channel. Sorry, my hair is an absolute mess. We like to keep it real around here. Hi, my name is Erin and I post yeah. videos about being a mom to a toddler and respiratory therapy school. But pretty soon, I'm going to be posting videos about being a respiratory therapist because my last day of classes was Thursday and it is now Saturday. Yay! <laughs> my last day of classes was a few days ago, so I no longer have to do school. It is so surreal. It is so amazing. I'm finally done. So I'm finally done, school is finally over. All I have to do now is study for my board exam and that will hopefully, you know, go well. But I, um, I don't have school anymore. I graduate next week, next Thursday on the 28th and I am so excited. It really hasn't hit me just yet that school is over. Um, it probably won't hit me until I actually go to walk down, um, walk across the stage at graduation. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm done. I'm finished. I'm finally finished. So today I just wanted to film just a regular, just a regular video. Nothing special. I do have a few things around the house that I need to get done um, because my house is an absolute disaster. If you follow me, then you know my house stays a mess. And so hopefully now that I'm done with school and actually have time to clean and keep up with it, I can do that. So it won't look a hot mess anymore. What do you want, baby? You want a banana? You want a banana? Here you go. Here you go. Uh, you want to peel it? <laughs> There we go, all done. Yay, you did it! Thank you. So yeah, there's a few things around the house that I wanna clean up uh, and just organize. It looks a hot mess in here. I know I already said that, but I just wanted to say it again to reiterate, my house is an absolute disaster. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a list. I've already started on the laundry. I don't know if you can hear the, um, the washing machine going in there. It's kind of loud, but if you can't hear it, the laundry's already started, so I got that done. I need to clean the bar and counters, the tables, pick up the toys, um, vacuum, and I want to, um, mop the floors with my spin mop really quick and then I want to take a good bleach scrubbing to the bathtubs because they need it very desperately. It's been a couple of months since I've done that and honestly it's I mean I know it's gross. I do have a cleaning lady that cleans every other week so she like cleans the tubs but I feel like I go ham on those tubs with that bleach spray y'all like so she does like it's not like the tubs haven't been cleaned in a couple of months they just they haven't been cleaned to the scrub down whole top layer removed scrub that I like to do so I'm gonna do that are you not gonna eat the banana Me? huh oh that's a quarter okay how about okay 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 how about okay look for those of you who want to know what he's doing he's sitting right here He's stacking things on top of this Pringle can, and now he's um, handing me quarters. So thank you, baby. No, no, baby, that's not, no, no. <laughs> those are not yours, though. Those are daddy's. Those are daddy's quarters. So they need to stay there for daddy. Uh -huh. No, no. Here, here's your Nana that you had to have. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, he wants the quarters. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna follow him to make sure he doesn't eat them. So after an entire meltdown, um, he is now sitting comfortably on the couch, covered up in his blanket, eating a banana. I'm living my best life right now, watching Blippi, eating a nana. Oh yeah. So what I had him do is I talked him into going into my room and setting the quarters on his dad's nightstand. And after he did that, I was like, yay, good job. And you know, he was really happy. But then 
I picked him up and carried him out. And that's when the meltdown started. Um, because he wanted to go back in there. He wanted the quarter. So, I finally, you know, kind of calmed him down a little bit. I try not to, like, entertain the tantrums. I try to, like, distract him with other things. And that seems to work. But, yeah. Um, let me show you what we're working with here. What I want to... What I want to get done, what I want to clean. Um, don't judge me. I know my house is gross, but I can't help it. <laughs> okay, so this is my bar. My bar is the catch-all of the house. There's juice that needs to be put away, deodorant, mail that Matt needs to sort through that he refuses to. I don't even know what's in that box. Um... Waters I need to put in the fridge, my coffee that's from this morning, my laptop and planner. Just everything ends up on the bar. And it just needs to be organized. On the table over there, there's the PlayStation 5 that's still in the box. There's laundry in that basket right there. Laundry on top of the waters. Those all need to be put away. There's books. There's... Um, some snacks that I need to put away from shopping the other day that I need to clean up and organize. Um, all of the toys that I want to put away. There's some clothes over there that need to go on the dirty clothes. This table, I freaking hate this table. Everything on this table just needs to go away. Those are our old knife set with knives that don't even match each other. There's an old humidifier that I guess we're going to use. And then Will's humidifier there. And then that's an empty box. So... Yeah, I just, I want to organize this freaking living space because I can't, I can't function in clutter and it seems like this space is always cluttered. So there's a towel that I use to clean up a spill, more, to well that's a hat, more toys, oh there's a wipe, that's fantastic, I didn't know that was there. And that is a fan, I don't know what they're called, but I used it because I cleaned Will's carpet a few days ago and there's our carpet cleaner that we have. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff to clean and just declutter and organize and I'm not looking forward to it but really once I get started it doesn't take very long so I'm hoping that I can do this before Will goes down for his nap at uh, 1230. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. catch-all I need to put this stuff in my bathroom um, but after that 
um, it'll be done and then I have to throw that shoe away. Those are chargers that we use frequently for things like our uh, tiny vacuums and my uh, cameras. So we just leave those there. Um, I'm gonna put that in the cabinet too, I forgot to do that. But bar, I mean it looks better than it did. Counter, so much better. I uh, refilled the flour and made a mess with that. But everything looks better on the counter. Um, still a few things in the sink, but I can put that away really quickly. Let's see, this table is all clear. Coloring didn't last as long as I thought it would. That's a pool, I need to inflate that, but it's just been so hot that I don't even wanna go outside just to inflate it. Like, it's just, it's been awful. Like, Louisiana summers are just terrible. Uh, the toys, as you saw, didn't stay clean for long, but I managed to kind of scoot them out of the way a little bit while I was mopping. Is that your bus? Ooh, 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 ooh. Your bus? Bus, yeah. All right, take your bus. Um, so living room looks better. The couch, I mean not the couch, the rug looks a lot fluffier since I vacuumed it. If anybody wants a free dog, let me know because her hair was um, most everything that I vacuumed up and there was a lot of it. Yes, ma'am, I'm talking about you. you Couches are cleaned off. Blippi is on the TV. And this table, I didn't get too much cleaned off this table mainly because Matt needs to figure out what he wants to do with all that stuff. Um, but I did clean off the humidifier and stuff. This is the um, TMC book that I'm using. And I didn't put away the carpet cleaner because I do want to deep clean that carpet um, sometime in the near future. I'll probably do that sometime next week while that one is at school and I'm here by myself. So it took me a little longer than I wanted it to. It's 11.15 right now. I don't remember exactly what time I started, maybe like 9.45, 10 o'clock. But we had a couple of instances where Will either stubbed his toe and wanted me to hold him and kiss his toe or where he wanted me to sit down and watch Blippi with him. So I had a few breaks here and there, but all in all, I did get done before Will's nap time, so that was my goal. Now I'm just gonna chill out and wait for nap time, wait for lunch, and then I'm gonna feed him and lay him down, and then I'm gonna study for my board exam. So it's a little bit later, it's currently 1.16. I made um, myself and Will some lunch, and then I laid him down for a nap, and then I took a shower, and I feel so much better. I probably still look a hot mess, but I feel clean. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some time to study for my board exam. Uh, this is the book that I've been using. This book was, um, uh, one of the books that we were assigned to get for our um, test prep class this last semester. Uh, I'll link it down below. I got it off of Amazon. I don't remember how much it was, but I mean, it's not too bad. I think it was less than $100 and I bought it. I didn't rent it. I like to buy the books and keep them rather than just rent them and send them back. So um, for me, it was less than $100, but I'll link it down below for you in case you want the same book because it's really helpful. It doesn't go into a lot of detail like the Egan's book does, but it's a really good refresher. So it doesn't teach you, it just refreshes you on, you know, what you've already learned. So it's really good, short, sweet, and to the point. That's exactly what I like. Another awesome thing about this book is that it comes with a um, an access code to their website and you can take um, like different practice tests. They have them for the Sims and the uh, multiple choice so you can do both and the Sims is the test that you'll take to get your RRT and the TMC is what you'll take to get your CRT. So right now I'm taking some of the TMC uh, test prep practice tests. Um, let me just show you. I'll show you what their uh, setup looks like. So here you take an assessment test to see where you are and then you can take practice tests and see it's got the different chapters and they have different questions 
based on the material for each chapter. And what I've been doing is I've been reading like two chapters at a time and just taking a test um, from the chapters that I read. So yesterday I read chapters three and four and then they've got 47 total questions set up from just chapter four and then what does that say? 35 from just chapter three. So you can put in this box how many total questions you want from each chapter. So I think I'm going to do all 35 and then all 47. That way I'm not missing anything. And I think I'm going to throw in chapter 5 too because I kind of skimmed through that one. Um, yeah. And then down here, create test and out of all three of those chapters there's 118 questions so I'm gonna go ahead and take this practice quiz or practice test to see how I do and then after I do that and see where I'm at this is how hang on let me turn you back around these practice tests are really good to see like where you are weaker at and where you're stronger at that way whenever you take the test you can see oh, I did really bad on this chapter, let me go and read it through again. Or I did really good for this chapter, I don't need to focus as much on that material because I seem to already know it pretty well. So that's exactly what I've been doing and so far it's really been working for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and take this test. It's 118 questions, hopefully it doesn't take too long. And then I will show you my results even though it may or may not be embarrassing. Um, so far I've been doing pretty good, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I just finished I haven't reviewed it yet I don't know what I made so we're going to see this together so review test Ooh. so I got 75 correct and 25 or 75 percent correct and 25 percent incorrect so that's good I got 88 out of 118 right and I got the same as I did for the last test because this um, this test was over uh, chapters three, four, and five. My last test was over chapters um, one and two, so I got a seventy-five percent on both of those. And the book actually has um, at the bottom of each chapter. Or at the bottom of each chapter at the end of each chapter it's got these uh, test taking tips this is terrible terrible view but it's got test taking tips which is basically just a uh, like a what is it called like a shortened overview of the important things in the chapter and at the end of that I'm sorry this view is just awful hang on Okay, so at the end of each uh, tip page, it says for the test, if you make between a 70 and an 80% for uh, this specific chapter that you study on, you're good. If you score below a 70, it, that's whenever you should, like, read the chapter a little bit more carefully it indicates that you need to study a little bit more 
so I've been making 75s consistently so far. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on these chapters. I will end up overviewing them more towards, uh, hang on, let me turn you back around. I will end up going over, um, everything just briefly before I take the test. That way I can, you know, review well. Even if I do well on that specific chapter, instead of reading the whole chapter like I have been, I'll probably just go over the tips, like the little review, um, prior to taking my, uh, exam. So, that is something that I can cross off my to-do list for today. My planner, in my planner I have, like, an entire study plan of how I want to study day after day. I have it laid out to where I study, you know, two chapters every day and take the um, post chapter uh, review test after I read those each day. And then I also bought the uh, Respiratory Coach TMC Bootcamp. I'm gonna watch his videos, I'm gonna watch a few of those every day. And then I made flashcards of normal values and the equations that my professor gave me that he, because what he did was he paid to take the test every year until they told him to stop, like you can't keep doing this. And what he would do is he would pay $200 every year to take the test so he could go to his students and be like, okay, I just took this test. This is what you need to focus because this is what's on it. So they told him to stop doing that. So, um, but he compiled a list of every single equation he's ever seen on the test and all of the normal values. He put those together for a quick reference so that we could actually see them. And I made flashcards from those because normal values, I suck at remembering normal values and equations are just hard anyway. So I'm going to look at those for a little bit and wait for Will to wake up and then, um, We'll just continue with our day. I don't know what we're going to do next, but we'll see. So it's currently the next day. It's actually almost four o'clock. I haven't filmed at all since yesterday when, um, whenever, like you just saw the last clip, but we basically had a lazy evening yesterday and we didn't do much. Um, Matt went to a shooting match this morning, which I mean, he usually has Sundays off and I was going to spend all day studying uh, for my board exam and then just let him watch Will. But he had a shooting match this morning so he went and did that. He came home around noon and by that time Will had just been put down for his nap and I've been in here studying ever since. Um, I'm currently reading chapter 11 about um, supporting support oxygen and ventilation so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i know this is kind of a crappy ending but i'm sorry i'll do better next time i promise um for the next few weeks i am or the next couple weeks i am gonna study for my boards a lot and then i did tell my old manager or my best friend that i would work for her at the pet store a couple of days a week um, for like half a day. So I think Mondays and Wednesdays I'm going to be doing that. So um, if I can vlog any of that, I will. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you know anytime I upload a video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!